Hey, six graders, we're back and we're going to talk about proportions today, okay? And a couple of ways to solve those. So let's get started. Okay, I've got a couple of easy proportions here. And with these proportions, um, we know one way to solve proportions is we can say what times 5 gets me 15? And I know that 3 does. Okay, so we know with proportions, whatever we do to the top, we do to the bottom. So this seems a little easier to find, 8 times 3, 24, and we've got that proportion. Okay, so now we can look at this one, 4 times what gets us 16? You got it, 4 times 4, so whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. 1 times 4, 4, so those are complete proportions. So now I'm going to show you another way to solve proportions. Okay, so... And this is not so easy, because if I look at this, I can't figure out easily what 2 times two times what gets me 9. Okay, so another way to do this is what we call cross multiply and then divide. Okay, so we are going to multiply numbers that are diagonal. 9 times 6 is 54, and then we're going to divide by that 2. Divide by 2. So 2 goes into 5, 2 times, 2 goes into 14, 7. So we just found out that x is 27. All right, so this is the same way on this one. I can't figure out easily what I, and in this case I'm dividing to go here. I don't know what I would divide 7 by to get 2. So I can't figure this one out. Or it's the other way, what I would take 2 times to get 7, or 8 times to get this. So I'm going to cross multiply. So what numbers will I cross multiply? You got it, the two that are diagonal. There's nothing here to do here, because I've got a letter there. So the two that are diagonal, 7 times 8, 56. So I've used these two. What do I do with this one? You got it, I divide by that. Okay, 2 goes into 5. 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, subtract 1, bring down 6, 2 goes into 16, 8. So I find out x is 28, so 7 28ths is the same as 2 eighths. Okay, 6th graders, so use what works for you. If you can, find out what you multiply to get those, and then do the same to the top and the bottom, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's not easy. It's going to be a decimal number or a fraction number. Okay, in that case, cross multiply the two numbers that are diagonally and divide that answer by your other number and you'll get your answer. Guys, see ya.